So we actually at Miami Cancer Institute, we have uh, a Proteus Plus solution where we have uh, three gantries. Uh, and the idea with us, uh, with the PT um, in our center, is that we have an open vendor platform uh, where we actually have a number of technologies. Uh, I think we are the only center under one roof that has all the technologies uh, currently on the market. And the idea with PT is it was long anticipated since it was sort of our last technology to ramp up in the center. And so from the get-go, we were really uh, interested in sort of staging this and, and, and doing a very thorough uh, sort of ramp up for these. Um, we had a long, whist, long list of patients uh, that were waiting to get treated, so we had to triage those. And in the process, what we did, we decided to do is very strategic in terms of how we would uh, treat these patients. And so we looked at specific disease sites that we knew that we were going to kick off. A lot of them were CNS, uh, pediatric cases, uh, some prostates mostly. Um, and the idea here with that is that we would, uh, in essence, take a disease site um, and work with our multidisciplinary team, uh, work with our dosimetrists, our physicists, uh, and our physicians in order to create guidelines. So we looked at everything from staging the patient to simulation uh, to treatment to QA. And so the idea is that uh, once we had this worked out, uh, when our beam was ready to treat, uh, we actually have established uh, paths in which we would be able to treat our patients. So that really helped us go from a few patients to uh, currently uh, our, our numbers, which are 12 to 13 patients that we're treating in a very short time. You know, the uniqueness of the center is quite important for us. Uh, in the very beginning, we had a number of technologies, and the idea there was that we would sort of reap the benefits of each one. But now, as, as we have these technologies and we're implementing, one is that we'll realize is that uh, you know, what we thought certain technologies could do, we found uh, more u uses for them as well. Uh, and the idea as well is that, that the concept is that we don't necessarily have to treat one patient just in one technology. So having the capabilities of using PT in conjunction with another advanced form of therapy uh, is something that we're experimenting with. And I think has been useful. We've found results for a number of disease sites where we could potentially start the boost with protons and or start the initial course with protons and then finish off with a different photon technology to give a boost. Uh, and so this is some of the work that we're doing right now. Um, and so it's, it's been quite uh, eye-awakening um, uh, just because uh, that's just something I think that uh, none of us expected at the center. Since we have various vendors in the center, uh, the idea is that we really ran into challenges of uh, technology and more importantly trying to integrate. And that was one of the, the unique things that uh, we found quite important and useful with, with the IBA is uh, knowing that that is their strategy is being a, an open uh, vendor company. And the idea is that we were able to incorporate our record and verify system with our treatment planning system uh, and have those integrate with IBA. Uh, even some of our emotion management solutions um, have integrated well with the system. And so we've been you know, quite proud of the, the capabilities. It, it did take some work up front working in partnership with IBA uh, to have those uh, uh, entities talk to one another, but uh, uh, we've been able to do that. And so that really allows us to really get the best and most useful tools uh, in, in our hands so that we can uh, treat our patients.